Hello, Les from Thailand here. And in this video I've said I've been going to do this for a, a quite a while now. Is I live on 50,000 baht a month. That's where I, I live on over here. Um, 50,000 baht a month, some people say oh, I must live a poverty life and not a very good social life and one thing and another. Well, 50,000 baht a month is a lot to some people and it's not a lot to other people. It's enough for me to live on. I have more than 50,000 baht a month coming in for my five brigade pension, but this is all I need to, to live on in Thailand. Um, I'll show you a couple of pictures of the house where I live. It's a nice two bedroom house um, in the countryside, not too far away from the beach, literally five minutes away from the beach about 30 kilometers away from Rayong is our biggest city. Uh, we have food, food carts there, everything that you could ever want in a big city. So we don't live too far away from anything. We live uh, one and a half hours away from Pattaya, two and a half hours away from Bangkok. So transportation wise, we have our own car, we have a motorbike. Uh, I've got to say that I, I bought the car in finance um, maybe seven years or so ago and now I paid for it over two years but there's a video on this about how I bought my car in Thailand without a, a Thai guarantor or using the Thai finance companies uh, watch my other video and you'll see how, how you can do that um, so yeah okay I'll live on 50,000 baht a month now but when I bought the car, obviously it was going to be more than 50,000 baht a month because of the, the interest payments of the car and one thing and another. And now with the, the baht being so low against the pound, or so high against the pound, should I say, your money goes a little less further, English money. But it's still manageable on 50,000 baht a month. For instance, my rent here is rent internet electricity and water comes to less than 13,500 baht per month so the actual rent for the house which includes the gardener which comes around once a week they cut the grass trims the hedges one thing and another it's 12,000 baht a month a two bedroom detached bungalow nice location nice area um, in a in a village five minutes drive away from the beach um, I live about 20 minutes away from Kosamet, so anybody who, who wants to Google sort of where the local places are here, I live 25, 30 minutes maybe is including the boat to Kosamet, one of the most beautiful islands in Thailand. Um, so my health insurance, I have got health insurance, so that comes at the cost of about 3,000 baht per month. I've, I've had that now for seven years, Touchwood never had to claim on it, so I hope I never have to, but that roughly cost me 3,000 baht a month for that. My car insurance is another 1,000 baht a month, 12,000 baht a month annual, so as you can see, it's not too expensive to live here, um, in comparison to trying to live in the UK, where I used to live. Um, you would never get a house for 12,000 baht, you know, so that's the equivalent of uh, 300 pounds a month, let's say. What would you get for 300 pounds a month in England? Certainly not a detached bungalow with nice gardens and nice surrounding area. Impossible. So yeah, it is a bit more expensive to live here now because of the, the baht and the pound issue, but that isn't going to last forever. That will change one day. So my outgoings for the car uh, health insurance, food. Food is about 15,000. There's two of us. I'm married to a Thai girl. So we, we cook at home and we eat out occasionally. And that usually that comes to about 15,000 baht a month. 3,000 baht a month for my health insurance. 1,000 baht a month for the car. And the rent, including the internet, electricity and water, is about 13,500 baht. So altogether, 32,500 baht is the essential costs of living here now i'm not a drinker and i'm not a smoker i'm not a bar person if you were a bar person and you lived in the entertainment zone say a party or bangkok 
it's impossible. You couldn't live on 50,000 baht a month. But I've never been a big drinker. I drink socially. Every month we have a, a function around somebody's house, so we'll go around and we'll eat some food. We all take food to everybody's house and our drinks and that. So therefore, it's, it's cheap for entertainment-wise. If you want to go and sit in a pub all day, or go and sit in a, you know, be entertained by singers and one thing and another, you ain't going to live here on 50,000 pounds a month. It's going to cost you a lot more than that. But I've got the Thai wife. I'm happy with her. We, we've got a happy life together. So we live in the countryside. I've got things to do. We have a drive around in a car. We have our holidays. I've got to say that, yes, my holidays, I'll take some money from my savings that I have in England to pay for holidays. The 50,000 baht that I caught for living on is just for living here, um, the way we do. But we live in a holiday location. People from all over the world travel here to have a holiday, certainly Cosa Met and things like that. So we live in a holiday location. I'm three hours away from Ko Chang, and for instance, in Ko Chang, the accommodation there is about a thousand baht, two thousand baht a night. You can get some decent accommodation for it's three, three and a half hours drive away from here. Petrol here is really, really cheap. Uh, twenty-four, nearly twenty-five baht per litre. E20 that I put into my car. So the running costs for a car over here are much, much cheaper than they are in England. Um, my motorbike is due for insurance tax this year, um, in the next week or so. And last year it cost me 700 baht to insure and tax my motorbike. 700 baht, what, 15, 16 pounds for the year. That's just third party fire and theft insurance, but it's the basic insurance is what you need over here. And that's, that's all you need. So yes, you can live a very cheap lifestyle over here. Some people want to be entertained, want to spend more money. If you eat Western food, it's going to cost you more money. I like Thai food. Majority of the food that I have is Thai food. I love Thai food when my wife cooks it. So that also makes living at home cheaper. So we have a good social life. Every month, like I said before, we, we go to different people's houses and we, we have entertainment like that. That's where the standard of living, it can be so cheap if you, if you like to live like that. I do. I like the, the company of my wife. We go everywhere together. Um, so cheap living. My wife doesn't drink alcohol. She's a totally non-alcohol uh, person. So therefore, if both of you, you and your girlfriend, your Thai partner, drink alcohol, then again, it's going to up your cost. Um, there's some people that I know here, um, like the beers, and they spend 18, 20,000 baht per month just on the beer they consume at home. That's without going out. So it can be as cheap as you want, or it can be as expensive as you want. Smoking cigarettes, I don't smoke, never have done. But apparently the cigarettes are only about a pound a packet here. For 20 cigarettes so smoking is very very cheap over here also I believe now in the UK they're about 10 pounds a packet so yep yeah, people can live on a hundred thousand baht a month and live a really really good lifestyle if that's what you want to do but I'm happy at 50,000 baht a month I can manage on that I have a, I think a reasonable lifestyle maybe it's not for everybody um, I like the countryside I like the quietness of where we live it's a happy village where we live. Everybody's very, very friendly. The crime rate is next to zero uh, where we live. Which makes you sleep better at night. Everything that I like about here, the friendliness, the location, I would recommend anybody to come to this area and just have a look. It's so nice to live here. So if you want any more information, please email me on my email address below. I'll give you any information that you like. And 50,000 baht a month, it can be done. So please look at the photographs that I put on and you'll see I don't live in a squat. I don't live in a squalor. 
and I'm not struggling for living here on 50,000 baht a month. Until the next time, the next video, please subscribe, put a like if you like it, leave your comments if you don't like it or whatever down below. Thanks very much until the next time from retired and living the dream. Bye for now.